Welcome back. Australia's pet industry is at an all-time high, booming, worth a whopping $13 billion a year. And for many people, there's nothing they won't do for their pampered pooches, including enrolling them in swimming lessons. This is Bagel the Beagle, and swimming has never really been his forte. So my dog, Bagel, really struggled in the water. He was actually quite fearful to get into the water, and when he was swimming, um, his bottom was sinking, and he was only paddling with two legs instead of, you know, staying balanced with all four legs and horizontally across the water. So his owner, Karen, designed Bagel, his very own swimming jacket, and enrolled her pooch into swimming lessons. Bagel! Come here, buddy. Doing a good job. Instructor Sharon Osmond says water safety is vital for dogs. There's so many dogs in Australia that actually uh, drown in their own backyard pools. Um, so uh, a lot of people think that dogs can actually swim where not, that's not nece you know, necessarily true. Canine swimming lessons are increasing in popularity and with practice comes perfect, whether you have an instructor or do it yourself at home. It has to be nicely controlled. So purchase a jacket, get the dog in your pool or in the river or wherever you wanted to try and teach the dog to swim and hang on to it and do not let it up over the top of you. It has to be in a very nice, calm, controlled manner. And now we're joined by Bagel's owner, Karen Yang from Stylish Hound. Good morning to you, Karen. Well, Eddie and I were just discussing it. We didn't even realise that not all dogs can swim and we thought that dog paddle kind of just led to the fact that they can all do it. Yeah, a lot of people think that dogs can naturally swim, but that's not the case at all. Bagel really struggled when he first got into the water and I was quite surprised. So how does the jacket help? Did it take a while for Bagel to get used to wearing it? Um, no, he took to it naturally because um, we did it in a very controlled environment in a swimming school. Um, the jacket really boosted Bagel's confidence, especially in the water. He, I guess he knew that he wasn't going to sink, so he was focusing on being more coordinated, doggy paddling with all four legs. Mm. Great name for a dog, by the way, especially a Beagle. Bagel, so good. <laughs> um, it, it, just describe to us how important this is to give dogs swimming lessons. Is it, is it a, a big problem? Well, I think um, because us Aussies spend a lot of time in the water, especially coming into summer, um, going to swimming lessons, wearing a swimming jacket is quite essential because you have the confidence knowing that everyone's having a good time, enjoying the water, your dog's been safe and you're also reducing the risk of having an accident. Well, Karen, we're looking at some pictures of Bagel here. I'm not sure if he's entirely stoked to be in the water. I think you might be better leave him on the shore with the Kong with some peanut <laughs> butter in it. Uh, we, love, we love this story. It's given us a really in, insight to, today mm -hmm. into uh, what our pets can and can't do. Thank you so much for joining us and thanks, Bagel. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, I have a confession. What? My dog Murphy has one of those jackets. My daughter's bought it for him. Wow. Uh, it has a shark fin, it's and when he swims in the water, it looks like a shark. Is it's swimming. taken you till 8.59 to admit that. We're back in more in a moment. Stay with us. <laughs>